feels bad. And that's just how, like, what I'm playing on now used to be the hardest difficulty, and then they, and then they nerfed it. So, like, weird shit. How many zombie types are there in Back for Blood? There is, there's tall boys, there's bruisers, there's crushers. Then there's, uh, the, what the fuck is that? The Ripper. So that's four. So there's tall boys, there's, uh, not splinters. What are they called? Not spitters. I think one of them's called an urchin, but I can't think of the, what the title of the other ones are. Actually, I can show you real quick. I think there's 16, maybe 12, actually. Yeah, there's 12. There's four of each type. So you have four of the normal ones. So the normal ones are written, uh, I mean, tall boys, stingers, and reekers. And then they have different things that they do. Yeah, but the only bad thing is that this game's fucking uh, their main setup for like multiplayer is like survival, and nobody wants to play survival. Gonna be honest with you. So is there something like the hunter for Left 4 Dead? Yes, it's called the Stalker. He literally jumps up behind you, puts you in a headlock, and drags you away. So more like a mix between like the smoker and the hunter, rather. There's nothing that really like pounces you and goes, "Damn, got your ass." I really wish they would stop cucking me on the last one. All right, we're going three, two, one. We're going. Yeah, it's closest to the jockey for sure. They don't have anything that just pounces on you and just gives you the fucking juice. I really don't need this, but sure. We're going. That was absolute dog shit. But as long as I keep on pace with what I got right now, I should be perfectly fine. I can't believe at the end for me to get world record, it absolutely fucking cocked me, bro. There's no way. Yeah, to be honest, it's only for like speed running tech because if you want to make it through without having to worry about anything, and it's only because I've, I've gone through this like maybe, fuck, dude, I can't even think about it right now, like maybe 15 or 20 times in the last like couple of days. But yeah, like this build is literally just for running away, running away and literally leaving the rest of your team to fucking die. Bro, fuck off, please. I'm gonna get cucked here. No, I'm not. 
Get fucked. Get old Ubi gave us the middle finger, bro. Ubisoft, I'm gonna be honest, bro. I can't think of the last Ubisoft game that I've played. Like off the top of my head, no fucking clue, man. Pain Train, is this gonna be a boss or what? No boss. Tall boy hordes, which kinda suck, but that's fine. I can run with this. <sighs> There's so many things. There's so many things that disappoint me about a lot of different game companies. They just, I don't know, man. Like, I get there on a time crunch with a lot of different things, right? But it's just super not worth in a lot of cases lately. Gonna be honest, I didn't. I I have only heard good things about Overwatch 2, and I'm hoping that they stay that way. And as long as the game is still fun, I can't fault them on anything that they did at that point, you know? Bitch. Now give it, give it some time for it for it to like even out because like when a game first drops it just I don't know like everybody gets thrown into one hodgepodge and a lot of people are not gonna have fun a lot of people are gonna have fun you know give it a second to even out a little bit you know I did hear about the new characters being locked behind battle pass though that's just kind of wild to me. Please stop fucking me right now. Thank you. Really phenomenal, actually. Skins cost real money and grind to oblivion. Oh, I haven't... I, to be honest, I know they were talking about doing the real money thing. And I know they had lowered the price of it. But also, like, League of Legends does the same thing. And Blizzard's like, hey... We've been around the same amount of time, so why can't we get away with it, you know? And the whole PvE aspect, I think it's pretty whack that they pushed the PvE back to 2023 when that was the main reason they were coming out with another game, you know? That one, that one does kind of tap my taint a little bit, bro. And I'm like, bro, what was the point of that? It just kind of, it just kind of seems like it misses. Like, I just feel, I just feel like it's missing something at that point, you know? Well, that's unfortunate, bro. I was hoping that they really fixed that situation because I got I had like legit like three to nine, like three to six hundred like loot box. I can't remember off the top of my fucking head how many I got, but I had quite a bit, you know. Not as many as people who like streamed Overwatch or anything like that, but.
Come on, please. Come on, please. Can I not get stuck on something? Pardon me, bud. Hey, you're good, dude. I appreciate the kickback, dude. Legit. I don't have enough money. Don't, not even necessary. I can't heal anybody anyway. Pardon me. Please get the fuck out of my way. Peaches. Money. Money. Ammo. I will take that. What's the, what's the grind like right now, then? I need them to teleport to me. Please get the fuck off that bridge so I can make my money, please. Please and thank you. Off, man, please get out of my fucking way. Got it. Right? I'd definitely give you that one. We're making a really good time right now. I'm not going to I'm not going to fuck myself over and say like, "Oh man, we might get it." Oh, for sure. Like getting skins during the event like it was just one of the easiest things. Three to four weeks to buy an epic? Jesus, man. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna be like a super casual Overwatch player, like the, like the way I play League, dude. That's a lot of grinding though, dude, and I don't know if I agree with that. That's, that seems like a bit much. Got it, nice. I have no clue as to the reason they ended up switching to this new model, but hey, man, I, I just wish things would relax a little bit, but games are fucking taking turns to the fucking left and shit, not going well, and oh, well, you're fucking grabbing that one, that's fine. Please get out of my fucking way, I gotta go, I'm right out of fucking time. I shouldn't be grabbing Hoffman, but I'm gonna do it anyway. We're going. I'm gonna catch up on that in just a sec. I kind of fuck myself here a little bit. Oh, I still say four seconds. Uh, also, another question I think, at least for the Battle Pass, you need to pay 10 bucks to get it, but don't get the currency back. What the fuck? Really?
That's a really weird thing for a battle pass. If you don't get the currency back that way, if you put 10 bucks into a game that you play consistently, you wouldn't have to continuously like pay that 10 bucks. It's a little bit of a cash grab. And I don't really agree with that at all. Like that doesn't make any sense to me. Why would you break the battle pass thing? Make it seem like everybody, it's okay for everybody to do it that way, you know? Literally the fucking worst one among all of these fucking things, dude. Please grab the fucking board, please and thank you. This fucking sucks. I'm a little fucked here, actually. It might just be a dead game, dude. I really hope that's not the case, but I'm not going to say that Blizzard doesn't make me unhappy regularly sometimes. Oh, please hit me. Please hit me. Please hit me. Please get me up. Nice fucking clear. Get in. Close. 23 second save right there. I don't I don't know, man. Like I'm I'm in such a weird spot with a lot of different games where I'm just like, dude, what are you re what are you really even trying to like go for? You know what I mean? Like Back for Blow was the same situation where I was like, dude, where what are you what are you really going for? Who are you trying to grab as your audience, bro? It's like you didn't even, it's like you play tested it a little bit and you were like, yep, people love this. And I was like, like, dude, no, make sure you keep testing along the fucking way, bro. Like, use your fucking brain. Move speed. Fuck, I fucked myself there. It's fine. I definitely need mollies here, and I need one of those. Oh fuck yeah! I did. I did take a little bit of extra damage there, so I had to take the extra time to cover myself. Since when? Oh, for sure, dude. Like they've just been kind of mid. Like it. Like they're not bad, but also like I'm not gonna go out of my way to be like, oh, dude, you should play this game. You know, I. I haven't. F I, to be real, I felt that way for a really, really long time. So I think 2020 is definitely a really solid time frame as to since the last time that I really, really enjoyed a fucking game. And, like, I think eventually we will get to the point to where things will be fun again, but we... 
I don't know, man. It seems like we have to suffer a little bit, bro, and I don't know why. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really think Riot should be in any conversation in regards to, like, flopping or anything, because, like, people play a game, people play a Riot game because they trust in Riot, and that is super, super understandable. Valorant is a really well put together game that has balance changes every fucking like month or so. Like you can't fault va you can't vault you can't fault uh, Riot like at all. They they do a really really good job. And also Valorant is free to play, bro. Like all the free to play games have probably beaten out like AAA games for. Uh, for uh, people who play them. And not just because of the fact that they're free, but because they are more well put together, in my opinion, you know? Like Valorant is a like Valorant, League of Legends, super well put together games. Legends of Runeterra, fantastic game. Legend of the Ruined King, fantastic game. Like they're just really, really well put together. And Valorant does a really good job at playtesting. And I'm so like, I don't know. I'm happy to be a part of their player base. I'm never, I'm never gonna be like, oh man, why does, why do I have to pay so much money for these skins? You know, like I, I don't give a fuck about that. They look really, really cool. That's what I give a fuck about. You know. But I, I, I just turn my nose up at a lot of different companies that <clears throat> that really just lean on the fact like, oh, people people pay money for battle passes. Let's put a battle pass in our game. Like that's no reason to put a battle No, there's no reason to put a, there's no reason to put a battle pass in a game. If you want to make it your monetization scheme, I don't I don't blame you. Like it works. But also at the same time, dude, you have to acknowledge the fact that your players are probably gonna be a little pissed off, you know? That's just how it goes. And a lot of companies just don't acknowledge it. They go, oh, our players are stupid. They're going to fucking pay this money. Yeah, they're going to pay that money, and they're going to get more and more pissed off because you're not giving them what they actually want, you know? There is now Overwatch 2, else oh, you have a disadvantage. Yeah, exactly, you know? And I'm not mad at Overwatch 2. I'm mad at the way that they're using a battle pass. Um, in my opinion, which is super, super opinionated. Like, I'm not a triple, I'm not in a triple A studio. I make my own games and I enjoy making games for what they are. And that doesn't make me better or worse than anybody else. But if you put a battle pass in your game, one of the most important things that you should do is give people what they want in that battle pass. Whether it's things to make their game easier and like single player, like it should be, it should be like a leveling system in my opinion. But it's so, it's such a cash grab now where people are like, oh, pay ten dollars and get these fucking cool cosmetics. You know what I mean? Like it just, it, it just, I feel like it just misses the mark now. Like Apex has, I feel, in my opinion, I think Apex has the best out of battle pass. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's that's stupid. Cosmetics should be what's locked behind the fucking battle pass. You know.
good RNG. Kiriko the current is nothing like, nothing like I heard Kiriko is kind of nuts. Like she has really high damage. She has really high DPS potential and also like literally can go through walls and shit. Like it's, it's a little nuts how strong she is in my opinion. That's just based on her kit though. I haven't played her though. Yeah, I heard she did, did triple headshot damage. That shit's nuts to me. Yeah, it's it's fuck. It's it's fucking ridiculous, bro. back i need that please yeah uh headshots do depending on if you took depends on the fucking hero to be honest um like if soldier does a headshot it's not gonna do 140 damage you know oh kiriko headshot not a normal oh no okay I, I i misread it i misread it we're on the same page now but yeah it, it's it's kind of nuts that she can like two shot Tracer as a support. Like, even, like, Zenyatta is, like, what? 70 on a headshot? So she, he has to hit him with fucking three balls of the fucking dome. Can't make my angle there. Yo, what is my angles right now, dude? Yo, uh, barbed wire slows down enemies. So, like, it's really nice because technically they can't hit you from down there while you're up here. So it's kind of like a cheese spot. It's like one of the. It's, like, it's not a Jesus spot because they still spawn, but. I also I haven't played that much. Rain I wanted to play Rainbow Six, but Rainbow Six just. I don't know. I, I it got really stale to me. And it was super based on like, oh, this is what I found here. I'm gonna go like. It just felt like the same thing over and over again. And I can't say anything because I played Dead by Daylight for so long. But, like, I can only deal with one game that makes me do the same thing over and over again. At a time. Hey, can y'all kill that one fucking special? That'd be massive, though. Mm. 
But I, I adore realistic shooters and stuff, but Rainbow Six, it just, I don't know, it was just, it, it was kind of meme -y. It was like, if you took Overwatch and gave powers to, like, the normal people, it was Rainbow Six, so, like, motherfuckers are just charging through fucking walls and shit like they're in a goddamn action movie type shit. And I was like, yeah, okay, I think I've had enough, dude. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, for sure, dude. Gonna be honest, they still do that now, fuck. I, got a, I watch a couple of different streamers and shit that still play like RE6 and stuff. But like real nichely. Like they only do it for shits and giggles. I gotta upload a lot of YouTube videos tomorrow. A lot of world recce stuff. I cried on cam when I got my first world recce. Dog shit, not better than what I got. Right, On car shop? What do you mean car shop? What's what's the car shop? I thought you were bullshitting me and like you were saying fucking Carfax. I would say fuck it, dude. Car shop. Oh, payday two, payday two. Dude, I would say fucking go for it, dude. I'm pretty sure this is like a super heavily contested category and I'd be really, really sick, dude. I don't know. I got into speedrunning because I watch a lot of speedrunners in general. And I find it really enjoyable to speedrun. Like I I It's not really su it's not really super niche, but it's something that I can have for myself, you know? And it feels good when I accomplish something, you know? Especially like solo speed runs where I can just, all you have is yourself and one of my favorite things. We're on good pace. And Dim, you're a really talented dude, bro, when it comes to Payday, for sure. I'm surprised you haven't done anything with it, you know? Even if you are doing it for fun or what have you. I love seeing the homies glow up a little bit, you know? That sounds like absolute fucking hell, bud. This is fun. Yeah, 100% 100, 100 speed run of uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 sounds like absolute. I fucked that up so hard. Yeah, you're going to be honest. Well, going to be honest, there's a Monster Hunter run that I'm going to get into very, really, really soon. It's a 10 hour uh, Monster Hunter World, like full game plus DLC run. Fucking whipped, you dumb bitch. So that's the one we want to do first.
Nailed it. Oh, is this good RNG? Oh, this is good RNG, baby. She did fuck up my shit, but that's okay. Come on. So it's our time to split. Let's go. This is a fucking full sprinter time, gang. 30 hours, bro? That sounds like absolute fucking hell, bud. Lost six. I lost six seconds? I thought that was a really good bad seeds. I took a little bit extra time to take off my web, my uh, attachments, that's why. Yeah, 100% speed run sounds like absolute hell, dude. If you do that shit, that would be absolute. I couldn't even imagine, bro. 80% is nine hours. Bro, get the fuck out of here. What is going on around these days, dude? I'm good. No attachments, I don't. I would much rather have that. One, two, that. One, two, three, four. Take the frags. We get after it. Yeah, dude, because that's a, that's a, I'm going to be honest, I can't even find people to do a fucking, I can't even get people to do a 10 hour run, bro. I couldn't imagine doing a 30 hour run and like actually fucking doing tech and shit, dude. That's got to be like some of the most draining shit I've ever seen in my fucking life, dude. I gotta save that ammo right now. Bro, why is it always fucking Hoffman, bro? See you, bitch. That's fucking bad. No, 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 that's, uh, that's Ethan. Ethan's from RE7. I just need enough stamina to get to the top of this hill, baby. That one's not bad. It was the opponent of the 20. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, was, was Hoffman the guy from the 21 minigame? 
Oh god, gonna be honest, RE7 was a really, really phenomenal fucking game, dude. Ferocious boss, cost of avarice, this sucks. I don't really have that much anyway. Offensive slot, yes. Well, shit. That's all we got, gang. Good one. G fucking nine, no please. Even that guy with the monster thing? Were they really all named Hoffman? That's a really nice tidbit. Or like Easter egg type shit. So I any fucking I don't have any fucking ammo for this dude. I gotta find some ammo so bad. I need ammo for that last leg of this mission, dude. That cost of avarice fucked myself to be real. your ass. Well, come on. Fucking get through here, please. Thank you. Could have been really, really bad. That could have been really, really fucking bad. <laughs> Good old YouTube at 2 a.m. recommended me how to have a female voice. Really? That's that's an interesting fucking grab for YouTube algorithms to pull for. But hey, you know, like live it up, I guess.
Wow, really bad RNG on the fucking grabs, dude. Where the fuck are... Bro, stop fucking with me right now, bro. Bro, fuck off, dude. Cause there's nothing you can do right here, bro. Where the fuck is my god? I just... You're fucking with me, bro. You're really gonna act like I didn't have another fucking... Oh, we got all the way the fuck over there. Wow. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And this is going to be World Recce. World Recce is coming in three, two, one. World Recce, baby. Jesus, man. Wrap it up. World record time, baby. Yo, Jazz, how are you, bud? I'm just grinding. Ugh. That's three World Recce's.